Hey guys, and welcome back to our Swansea series of me, NG Paradox. We're now into December. Christmas is already here. I'm sorry, Christmas is almost here. Not already here. Jesus, I feel like those bloody shops, they got the Christmas decorations out early. It's only the 2nd of December and people have already got their Christmas decorations out. What is wrong with everyone? I'm sorry. My, uh, I'm getting Christmas relapses. It's okay. It's okay. We're not near Christmas. It's almost Christmas. 2nd of no December. And, uh, you know what? Things have been going well and bad. We've got quite a few things to talk about today, good and bad. So, let's begin with the good. Let's talk about last month. When it came to the month, actually, we had a pretty good month. And there's some really good news overall. Last time you guys were here, you saw us played Everton, and we won 2-0. That was a need we really, really needed. And I think that really helped us. After that, we played against Karuna in the Europa League. Obviously, they were a difficult team to play against. We drew them last time, but this time we managed to win 2-1. And I have to admit, we did just seem like the better team during the whole match, but it almost got away from us. As you can see here, Dembele scored in the 77th minute, quite late on, but I was like, oh, thank you. Whew, okay, finally, we actually got a goal. We're going to win this game, and that puts us in a good position, obviously, in the table. At the time, three of the teams in our group had five points. So we really needed to break out of that kind of top three, make sure we get a top two position. But then Eduardo Vargas scored in the 90th minute with their only shot on target. I could not believe it. I was like, ah. Oh. Are you kidding me? Really? After all that, you know, 16 shots we had, but only four on target. That shows you how difficult the game was for us, really. But the man, Dembele, scored in the 94th minute. Literally the last minute left in the game. He scored the winner. I could not believe it. And you know what? The man who got the assist was Daniel James. That young backup young lad from Wales, he got the assist. That won us the game. I couldn't believe it. This little, this kid's on fire. He got us a goal that won us a game, I think, if I remember correctly. He got us the assist that won us the game. This guy, I'm liking him. He's a really good kind of, you know, winger you can have for a backup. He's never going to set the Premier League on fire, but very good for backup. And you know what? Dembele has proven me wrong this month. I take it back. I told you guys against Everton I was starting to, you know, doubt whether he was gonna he was the good sign and I thought he'd be. But this month he seems to have proven me wrong, and we'll go into why in a set well, I mean you could see there two goals. Very nice. And that puts in a good position. After that we played against Tottenham, difficult game for us, but before this match, we'd actually never lost to Tottenham. We'd beaten them and we drew against them. So actually, I was coming to this game feeling quite confident, but it, it was a really difficult game. They outperformed us. They deserved the win. Playing against the top six teams is always difficult. You know, sometimes we have a good game. We can get some points like we did against Chelsea. But other times, it's like when we played against Arsenal. And this was one of those Arsenal games where they just destroyed us with four goals. Dembele tried to get, you know, us a goal. And you made it 2-1 at one point. But Harry Kane brought it back made it 3-1, and there was no way for us to come back. But him scoring again and against Tottenham again shows he's getting better. After that, we played against Watford. Now, Watford have some good players. You know, in, in real life, they're doing quite nicely. And in the game, they seem to do quite nicely. You never usually see them down in kind of the relegation struggles because they do have some good players. Um, I think a lot of people underestimate them. Um, actually in real life a lot of the time. I think a lot of people see them there. They only came up recently, but they do have actually have quite a bit of money behind them. There's some players they've spent a lot of money on. Um, and I, I say, I mean, here, look at this. Will Hughes. Will Hughes is a great young player actually in the team, but we're not here to talk about him. We're here to talk about our players and how well we did because we won. We won 3-1. Really good game for us. You know, after coming against the Tottenham match, we needed to win to kind of keep up in that kind of top escalon of teams because the league is really close right now. It's very easy to fall down 
and go up at the moment. So getting this win here kind of was really good for us. Overall, we were the better team, I would say. Um, Tom Cowell broke the deadlock at 40, the 41st minute after Wilshire, as you can imagine, got injured. Yeah, uh, Wilshire got injured, of course. Then after that, Dembele scored in the 52nd minute. Then Willie Hughes scored, but then Dembele scored in the 84th minute to make sure we took home the win. So you can see here Dembele scored three games in a row. And no, four games in a row. And that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. That's like six game, six goals in four games. That's really good. So I've been very happy with him so far. But this almost went all wrong. When we were 2-1 up, Issa Diop was injured in the 82nd minute. I made all my substitutes already. So we were down one man when Dembele scored. <laughs> so I was very surprised when he scored. So, like I say, I'm very happy with him at the moment. But that will lead on to some bad news later. After that, we came up against AZ um, in the Europa League. Now, we still have one more game after this. But if we won this game, we would get into the knockout stages. And we did. I was so happy. You know, AZ are not doing very well in our group. I don't think they've won a single game. So I felt we needed to win this match. And if we did, it would just mean we're, we're secure knowing we can get to the knockout stages, which is what our, you know the team wants. The team wants to get to the knockout stages. I want to get to knockout stages. You want to see them in the knockout stages. I find it really interesting. A lot of English teams don't do well in the Europa League. Like, obviously, yes, I know uh, Liverpool... Was it Liverpool? No, Man United... <laughs> To Liverpool. Man United won it last year. But in general, English teams don't do that well in Europe all the time. Um, teams that you think could be quite competitive, like this season, Everton. Then again, Everton have been terrible in the league as well. But a lot of kind of those sort of mid range or higher uh, mid table teams, you think, oh, they could probably make a good effort in the Europa League, have a good challenge. They, they never seem to do that. Um, the big teams that go to the Champions League are still competitive, you know. Arsenal always gets the knockout stages. You expect Man City or someone to get the knockout stages usually. You know, they, they're normally competitive. Not saying they're going to do well, just saying they're competitive. But in the Europa League, unless it's one of the big teams, the big teams might be competitive sometimes. Not always. But they'll normally be competitive, at least in there. Um, we don't, they don't normally tend to win it. They had Man United and Chelsea win it, I guess, in recent years. But none of the sort of lower ones. But when Swansea was there, we got to the, I think it was the quarterfinals possibly, was it the quarter, was it the second knockout, I think it was the second knockout stage, and we lost against Napoli, Napoli a really good team of course, who have a lot more money than Swansea, I, I think, then again obviously with the money coming to the Premier League nowadays, maybe Swansea actually makes more money than Napoli, which is kind of weird to think, but let's put the back of my mind, at that point in time, I think a team like Swansea, they take it a lot more seriously than a team like Everton, you know, kind of those bigger European teams, the kind of the kind of the teams with less of a European history, or less of a Premier League history, I should say. I think a lot of them when they get into the Europa League, they take it quite seriously because they want to be there. And Swansea was one of the few teams that actually did quite well. Um so I've always liked that. I've always been quite proud of their run in Europa League. So I, I want to kind of emulate that. I'm hoping we can get to the quarterfinal. Uh, if it was the second round, I want to get one step further and get us to the quarterfinal. It's going to be difficult. There are going to be some massive teams in the knockout stages, but hopefully things go well. But we got the win here. Um, Alfie Mawson scored, then they scored, then Jordan Ayew scored, then Tom Carroll scored. Tom Carroll doing very well coming off on the bench sometimes for Pe for Wilshire usually. He usually comes on and scored a couple of goals this month, so I'm very happy with him. So there you go. So that means when it comes to the tables, you can see we're top of the Europa League table with 11 points. If we lose against Anderlecht, they will go top. But both of us were definitely going through to the knockout stages. Karuna cannot catch up to either of us. So at least we've got that security. I would like to go up as first. Obviously, it'd be very good for us, I think. And we haven't lost a game, actually. Ooh. But neither have they. So it's going to be an interesting game. I'm hoping we can come out on top, though, at least with a draw, I think. I think a draw would be good. And I want to go up on top of our table. And like I said, I just... I would love to get to the quarterfinals. That would be a tremendous achievement for Swansea. But in the league as well, we're currently sat in seventh position, which is really good. If we can win the game today, which we could, we could go up into fourth place. 
which is uh, amazing. But we could also, if we lose the game, fall down into 12th place. So you can see it's a very close league at the moment um, with kind of the mid and top range teams. Uh, Arsenal and Man United are kind of running away with it at the moment. And in the bottom teams, you can see here Huddersfield, Aston Villa, Brentford, and maybe Watford, Leicester kind of falling behind at the moment. But yeah, overall, very happy with us over this season. If we have a quick look at home, um, Dembele's got 12 goals so far. When we just got to December, I think that's pretty good. Highest average rating. I think he is actually in the top goal scorers. A second top goal scorer. That is really good. For a young player like him to come to the Premier League for a team like Swansea and to be second, I think he's made the difference. If we did not buy him, I do not think we could continue the success of last year. But then again, the success of last year probably got us this money. So there is that. Um, most assists, best pass completion, most blow the match awards. Those are good. So that, that's the good news stuff. Ooh, sick from both. Um, but there's some bad news. Some very bad news. Isa Diop is injured for six to nine months. Ah, oh, this is actually really, really bad. Now, luckily, we just got qualified into the knockout stages of Europa League because I don't have many players in def uh, centre backs registered to play in the Europa League. So. Luckily, we've qualified for the knockouts. I think then for the knockouts, we get to then re-register so we can add a couple in, hopefully. But the fact he's injured is such a bad thing. For so long, I have no proper other centre-backs. We have, obviously, Mawson, but the other centre-backs are meant to be backups. They're, they're not meant to be in for this long. I do not trust them. Let's have a quick look at what we've got. The players we have to replace him are uh, Jordi Amat, who is going on a transfer. Yes, in January. <laughs> this makes it worse. Now, this was done before he got injured. Basically, Jordi Amat, we both talked and we agreed he wasn't good enough for the club. I'm, you may think he looks okay, but his history. Uh, number one, he was sent out alone last season because in real life, I think the team feel he's not good enough. And I've always felt that anyway because he went on loan to the La Liga. He didn't perform at all. He got a few chances. He was terrible. And now he's come back, and I just don't think he's good enough. So we talked, his contract ends next year. And so I was like, you know what? We'll let you go. I want to sell him before he leaves um, so we can get some money. I think we did a good job. We actually were able to sell him for 2.1 million. Rise, how much does it rise to? Um, um, no, cost. So is it 1.5 million up front and then 2.6 over time, I think? Yeah. I think that was it. So we can get 2.65 million, but we get 1.5 now, and he's only worth 1.1 because his contract finishes soon. But we paid 2.5. So if we can get that money in the long run, that means it's good, even though I don't think he's that great. That's the situation we find ourselves in. So overall, I, I think you could understand why he was meant to leave. He's not good enough. His contract's ending. He wants to play, but I don't want to give it to him over the other two players. So I got us the best deal I could possibly get. There was literally no other thing. Everyone was, ask, uh, was giving us little money because his contract ends soon. I felt I had to let him go for the best price I could get. But then, then our best defender gets injured and everything gets thrown into disarray. Everything. So I'm, I'm kind of upset now. Um, so we might have to bring in a new defender, but we don't have much money. We have 4.8 million. I guess we're going to get 1.5, so about 6 million, plus we have a lot of wage budget we could turn into transfer. I guess we could get some for like 7 million. So we could probably find a decent backup. So maybe it's not too bad. We'll wait till January. So we've got to, we got to wait another month. So we still have Jordi Armat, but I don't want to play him because he's going. I want to give our other defenders a chance. So let's have a quick look at my team for today. We are playing against Crystal Palace. They're 15th for the moment. Uh, Philip Koku, is that how you pronounce his name? Um, he is currently their manager. Uh, Sacco is their key player. Let's see if they brought anyone in. Transfer Dean. They've only spent 3.4 million this year. Wow, that is tiny. I guess maybe the season before and the season before that they spent quite a lot of money. So maybe the team's trying to like uh, not spend as much. They didn't make any money though. 
That's not... Who was that marquee signing then? Genki. Huh. He's fast, but that's it. Yeah, he's not that impressive. Where'd he come from? Hertha. He didn't play well in Germany. Ugh, doesn't look a good signing to me. Okay, maybe this is a good time to play. I think we should definitely be beating Crystal Palace, really, I feel like. Um, we have a quick look at the match preview. We have not lost to them, so that's good to know. If we go into team selection here, you can see here we're playing with Mike van der Horn because Kyle Bartley is actually injured as well, but he'll be back very soon. And I say I don't use Jordi Amat because he's leaving. And I don't want to give him game time because what's the point? He's only slightly better maybe than Mike van der Horn, but he doesn't perform. I'd rather give Mike the chance to show us what he can do and then maybe we can sell him for more money. So we're going to be using him today. Other than that, everything's kind of what you expect. Uh, Jordan Ayew is in. Jack Wilshire's back, obviously, from injuries. Uh, Hadara is in because Olsen is suspended as well. So our defense is a little weak today. So I'm, I'm slightly underconfident right now because this is not what I want. Like, literally, if any other player was injured for a long time, strikers, wingers, midfielders... Even the wingers, I'm um, sorry, the, the wing uh, fullbacks, I'd be happy because we are back at players that I trust, but the centre-back, that was the only place I felt the two main ones we had, Mawson and Diop, were just so important, and the others were nowhere near as good, so I'm a little bit concerned about this, but we'll see, never know. Maybe Mike van der Hunt and Kyle Bartley can surprise me, we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed and see. Nathan Dar is almost back as well, which would be really good. Well, three to seven weeks. I mean, that that's not really nearly. But Diop, why? You're so young. You're going to be so good. Look at him. I can't wait. I think he's going to be a great buy. I, I think he's probably the best signing I made, actually. I think he's better than Dembele like in my signing, just because I think he could be really good. Like a really good defender, which we really need. Um... Maybe Dembele's is good. Eh, they're probably both the best signings we've made, actually. Now that I said, let's get into the game. We're keeping things kind of simple. We're trying to do get stuck in because I'm not completely trusting my defense. I just want to get the ball off the others. Just make sure Crystal Palace can't shoot. Their passing, I think it said, has not been very good this season. So hopefully we can just take the ball off them as much as possible. They don't really have much of a chance to do what they can. Um, Hazard is up front, which I... Can he play up front? Yeah, he doesn't normally play up front, which is kind of a surprise. What happened to their other strikers? I guess they must be... Yeah, they must be in... Oh, Baselli. Wow. That is a kick in the face to Baselli. They're not even using him. And he's their, like, strike... He's an actual striker. That is just a kick in the... T How many goals have you scored? He's not... Okay, I'm feeling quietly confident right now about this game. Uh, Palmer... MacArthur, Rigoni, Sore, Sacco, Spendhofer, Ward. Okay, now I'm I'm feeling like we definitely should be. I think our team's better than theirs, definitely. Game in high spirits, passionate. I expect to win today, guys. Keep it going. Keep us competitive, you know. Um, no comment. I just want the players to go out there and play. Not think about the other players. We're not here to talk about the players that aren't here. We're here to talk about the players who are here. And here we go. Another day and another struggle. Hopefully not. Um, but here we go. We're playing away. But I'm hoping I've read their team properly. It sounded like they're not having the best of time at shooting as well. Which makes sense if they're not playing their proper strikers. If Benteke's injured. Zaha gets a ball in. Ooh, MacArthur with a nice little header there. But that ain't getting past our fab. No way. Um, Fab actually, I think, might be one of the best signings Swansea have ever made. Now, I'm not saying this because I really like Fab, but remember, he was a free. Fabianski came free from Arsenal. I think he might be one of the best signings we've ever made. A lot of people might point to Michu, because he was, he was bought in for like two million, which is really good. But in the end, that kind of went wrong. <laughs> in the end, that kind of went wrong. And we didn't get much back from him in the end. I mean, we did get a lot of goals for a couple of seasons, but 
after that and all the ridiculousness that ugh, I think he just had the, the wrong attitude. I think he thought he was better than the club. And so he was trying to force a move out, which is why he went on loan to Napoli. Because he felt he was better than Swansea. Now, we're not playing well here. What is going on? Let's have a quick... Uh, is it in that match stats? This is not what I wanted. There we go. What is going on right now? Corners, fouls, passes completed. 90%. We're not doing very well at passes. Being Their passes are good today. They told me they were bad. They lied to me. Tackles weren't 100%. We're not getting much of the ball, are we? Because they've got so much possession, that's why. Yeah. I may have to make some changes. Let's, let's keep it for now. It's only been 13 minutes, you know. Wilshire there with a free kick. And wow. Look at that. He was calm, collected. Wilshire just did a, a cross in from the free kick. Goodmanson knew exactly what he was doing. Wow. Difficult angle. Just a lot of power onto the ball, on target, and their goalkeeper, uh, Vanucci, he just couldn't do anything about it. Good. And Hazard is now injured. I'm feeling even more confident about this. <laughs> Everything just seems to be going wrong for them when it comes to the striker department. And Dembele! Dembele! Come on! He never seems to do good from that kind of position. You'd think when he gets the ball there, he should just be turning and striking. Straight at goal. That would go in with the power that he has. But he never does it. He always takes way too long and misses the target. From that kind of, you know, pass into his position. See if you notice next time. I'm pretty sure that almost always happens. But other than that, still, he's doing good. I, I can't complain, really. He's been doing really well. You know, second top goal scorer so far in the league. I mean, yeah. And Goodmanson's now got another goal to him. He's been so good. Vanderhorn. Ganero card. He's not looking so good. We're still giving Crystal Palace chances. But we've gone back into possession fight. But yeah. I think the only thing keeping us in this game is the fact that their striker is not a striker. And he's injured. I think that's really the only thing keeping us in. But Mesa with a corner now. They've had, like, no highlights. We're getting everything at the moment. And are uh, you? That could have been a nice goal for him to collect. Vanucci kicks the ball out. Ooh, good header there by to Ayu. I think it was by Hadara. Wilshire gets it to Ayu, but it's a, it wasn't a great pass, but he got it to him. But Ayu then tried to get into the center. Wilshire. I... St it's still so weird to say Wilshire in a Swansea shirt. That, <laughs> that is crazy. I guess it's probably because we got to the Europa League, I would suspect. I don't know. I've not tested out the Premier League that much. Like, what happens at the first season? Does he normally get released by Arsenal? And if he does, where does he normally go? Does he normally go to, like, a mid-table team or something? Like Everton or, you know, um, Watford, who knows? I don't know. Or does actually just he prefers to go to a European team? And because we're in Europa League, he was willing to talk to us. That could have been it. But I say I don't have enough experience in this. And K Kabaye, you know, he was playing at Crystal Palace. So he's a cool signing, but it's not impossible. But the Wilshire one is just, that is just cool. <laughs> to me, at least. I, As a Swansea fan, I would never think I'd see him in a, a Swansea shirt unless it was on loan. Like at Bournemouth. Dembele to Ayu, up, here up to the wing. That's it to Goodmanson, perfect. Mm, not enough, but good teamwork. I say, Dembele with the attacking wingers plays really well with them sometimes. Overall, not amazing, but not bad. We're winning, and that's what's important right now. Uh, Van der Horn playing the worst player is not a good sign, but Jack Wilshire getting best performer, it shows he's got it. I was a bit worried, maybe... He might not have it, you know. He's had a bit of a hard time at Arsenal. The injuries and stuff. You never know. Um, I think you're capable of better, yeah. You know, you, you really need to play better if you want to make sure you win. Crystal Palace could easily get back into this. Dembele, can he get to the ball? Ooh, a good tackle there. By Spendhofer. Now, Hadara. Throwing in. Now, I like Hadara. I trust him. I um, guess it's a Rokamisa. That's why I like it. Him and Olsen, I trust both of them, which either one is playing left back. 
I trust either of them. Wilshire, to, are you... Oh, are you gets us a free kick in a dangerous position, but we don't get to see it. Apparently it was not worth our time. Hazard's still injured. They still haven't taken him off, which surprises me. Wilshire's looking a bit... Wilshire's always looking bloody tired. Okay, Wilshire, come off. Come on, Carol. We gotta make sure Wilshire doesn't get injured. We it's so weird. You get you feel like you're like looking after him because you're like, oh, he's getting tough. We better take him off because he'll get injured, you know. Dembele's not having a bad game, but not good. Let's bring on Bonnie. Let's give Bonnie a chance. Maybe that extra kind of strength and height might be better. Let's just do that. Armat. He does have a yellow. And he's not playing well. I no, we got we got a lot more time left. Let's leave him on. I want to give him a chance. Seeing Amat play will just make me annoyed if he turns out to be good. Because from what I've seen, he's not been good enough. So I don't want to see him play bad. Loton's looking tough. We definitely take away a defender. It'd be Vanderhorn or Loton. Vanderhorn is the yellow, so I'm kind of inclined to him, but he looks look, he's so fit. 82%. He doesn't need to come off. We're looking slightly better now. Townsend gives a throw into Palmer. Gets it back to Townsend. Gets it in the Suave. But Kabai. Oh, Zaha keeps the ball. Zaha, a dangerous one right there. Rigoni. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing to fear for Fab. He never fears. Fab the Fearless. I'm just going to keep adding nicknames to him. First it was Fab. Now it's Fearless. Fab the Fearless. What, what will happen next season? Would he be called Fab the Fearless Fisherman? I, I, I don't know how he'd get Fisherman, but you never know. Who knows? Carl Norton's going to come on for Loton. I feel he's tired. I'm gonna, you know what? He's held on for so long. And they brought on Boselli though. Now, this is why I should be worried. Because he's actually a striker. But there's only 15 minutes. Well, 18 minutes, I guess I'll say. Kabaye gets the ball. Nah, he got lost it. Okay, Zaha. Oh, good tackle there by Mesa. Well, I guess it was interception. Uh, Norton. Back to Fab. Okay, they got back the ball. Palmer up to him. Oh, Baselli. Baselli really needs to kind of make people like him. I think he needs to kind of win back the club's approval. You know, he was put behind Hazard. Who, again, I'll repeat, is not a striker. And he's not even been scoring goals. There's no... It's not even like he's like earned the, the right to be the striker. It's not like he's been scoring from the wing or anything. I don't know why. They just really don't like Baselli, I guess. Uh, are you? Good run there. We know he's got the speed. Gets in the centre. The Wilfred Bonnie. And Bonnie scores. See, are you? He's he's not even meant to be on. See, this is what, this is what you do, Crystal Palace. Are you is not meant to play on the wing. That is not where he likes to play. But his stats look pretty good there. And he actually performs there. So I keep him there. He actually gets assists and goals. So I keep him there. And he works well. And Bonnie, that will clinch it. Thank you very much, Wilfred Bonnie. And it's good to keep Bonnie happy because he is one of our team leaders. Actually, in fact, one of the problems we have right now is we have too many team leaders in the team. Um, there are, there are not team, any team, we got high, we got too many influential players. Like, most of our players are highly influential players. That's not good, apparently. Um, I, mean, I guess it means they're all kind of, you know, hit heads. And there we go, a goaler by Zaha. Didn't I say before? I said he's a dangerous one. You need to watch out for Zaha. I don't actually tend to see him leave Crystal Palace from what I've seen so far on FM18. I guess if Crystal Palace get relegated, he probably would leave. Kabaye. Ooh, good ball to you by Kabaye. Wow, what a ball. No penalty, though, apparently. Looks like he thought it was, though. He did kind of seem to sit up and get a bit upset there. Ooh, a little bit of a mix-up just then. Hold on, guys. It's only a little bit longer. That's it, are you? Good, good leg work. Bonnie, to, are you getting the center? Getting the... Oh, and look at that. Another goal. Bonnie got, you know, Bonnie, good work. Are you? Good work. Are you obviously got upset with that tackle before? He's kind of like, F you. I'm, F you, guy. I'm going to score. Look at this. He could have just passed. He could have passed any of them. But he took it on himself. And I can't complain because he got the goal. Good job. And Vanderhorn, you know, 
he didn't let in a goal, really. I mean, I'd probably blame Mawson more for the goal. He didn't play badly, so I think it went quite well. 3-1 against Crystal Palace away from home. I'm very pleased, actually. <laughs> um, oh, Goodmanson, get up to our U. Get up to our U. Oh, you waited too long, Goodmanson. Oh, Baselli now coming in. Nope, nope, he's still not been able to prove himself. I'm going to have to check how many goals he's got. How many goals does he have? Are they, are they just being mean or... Yeah. Okay, I, I, I can see why they didn't play him. I probably would not play him either. <laughs> Misa with... I, I was going to finish a sentence, but he, he didn't seem to finish his free kick, apparently, so I felt he didn't even deserve to get me say it, to be honest. Uh, are you? Back to Carol. Are you? Get in the center. Another goal, please? No. Okay, we're getting a lot of action in the last kind of like 10 minutes here. What happened? Overall, though, yeah. Another good win. And this puts us into fourth. I just realized. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? We're now in the fourth. Now, I don't think we're going to stay up there. I, think I, I said this before. I said this this season. I said it last season. I don't know what is going on. And here we are. Another ball back in. These We just seem to have got these players to work well together. And the players we seem to have brought in seem to be working together. And we seem to be consistently beating teams that maybe you might consider we would be competitive with. And that's important. We're not necessarily beating the other big teams all the time, but we, we do something still points on them, and that is massive. And here we go. Another victory on the cards for Swansea. Crystal Palace knocked down the Battle of the Birds. You know what? We never lose against Birds. I actually don't think we... Ha did, we did we lose against Brighton that first time? I think maybe we did, which uh, makes me upset. Well done. That was a good win. Good job, everyone. Go home. Uh, you know, do whatever it is you do at home. I don't know. Go fishing. You know, I've got fishing on my brain now. Uh, positive result for you today. I don't even like fishing. A positive result for you today was... I can't even talk now. Pressure on Southampton. I don't know why I'm reading this. I never do this. Okay, guys. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for coming, guys. I apologize for this ending. Um, I've lost my mind slightly. I think the fever I had may be coming back. Um, but look at that. Fourth position, 23 points. I mean, we're not going to win the league. But the fact we're being competitive for Europe, European positions makes me very happy. Especially because we're not even in the League Cup. But we are in the Europe, Europa League. Oh, I keep I, Every time I remind myself of that, I just, get, I just get warm and tingly inside. Dembele, 10 goals in the league. That is so impressive. Still second at the moment. Other than that, no one else is really... On the stats. Dembele is the player making the difference it looks like. Goal difference is five. Being see though. If we lose the game we could fall down to seventh. You know, there's lots of teams around us. We can't get ahead of ourselves. We've got to, we've got to fight for every single point. And I think that's why I've been. Maybe, maybe that's been the difference. Maybe because we've been fighting for every single point. It feels like we're doing that every game. It feels like every game matters. But yeah. Well I better go though. I think I've held you guys times long enough. And uh. I've just been almost falling into insanity, apparently, this last uh, last five minutes. So I better leave you guys be, and uh, you better leave me be. Remember, guys, you be you, I'll be me, and uh, everyone be happy. I, I really don't know where I'm going anymore. So I'll see you when we return next time against... Oh, i got to click on this. Uh, when we were against... Unknown. Prob no, it's FA Cup. No, we're not going to see that. Huddlesfield. We were back against Huddlesfield. Good game. They're bottom of the table, so hopefully we can expect a good win. But look how many games we've got this month. And when we're back, I guess I'll be able to tell you who we have in the knockout rounds of the Europa League. That's going to be exciting. I'll probably record the actual draw as well. Just to add that extra kind of, uh, you know, dun-dun moment. I'll see you then.